guys welcome back to the channel I am back with another video on the fire blade at last you guys have been waiting for me to do this video on the fire blade I don't know what's wrong with my helmet or it's been a while since I've ridden the fire blade but I'm going deaf in my right ear this bike is obnoxiously loud but I did install a cardo on this helmet so I kind of messed with the lining a little bit and I had to cut out like a part of the padding to put the card on my EGV Pista. So I don't know if that made it louder, but it's like painful on my right ear right now. sunset right now I have been very sick the past couple days this is literally the first day I go properly out So excuse my low energy, I'm trying to conserve my energy so I don't get worse. This is the second cop I see out today. I went to, to six gear real quick, I'm trying to make this bike as quiet as possible. Uh, but yeah, we are going to BMW Earth Saver, they're hosting their final meet for this season. Uh, I'm assuming it's a summer thing then that they're doing, but they host it pretty much like a meet every month and it's nice. It's just a nice little get together where people get to uh, hang out, have an organized nice bike meet. I enjoy going to meets more than hosting them because I don't have to, you know, organize it and deal with all the details and all that. You just go there and have a good time and then leave. This bike sounds so loud. I think it has to be the helmet. Well, I did get the new helmet from uh, Daisuke Racing, my new Pista. Uh, I decided to wear this one because this is kind of like more of my daily now. Uh, because it has the light smoke visor on the new helmet because it's the black, not the Iridium edition. Uh, I put the dark smoke visor in it and that's mainly, you know, I wear during the day even though most of the time now I ride during the day, not really as much as night and I, but I remember that this event, they end at night, so... That's why I decided to uh, wear my light smoke Iridium so I can see better at night that's a pretty color on the i8 oh man from being dead sitting at home like the past couple of days trying to recover it, it feels good to be on a bike feel, i feel alive yeah i guess it's flu season or whatever my friend literally just said he just recovered from i guess a lot of people are getting sick this uh, fuel gauge is honestly even better than the BMW's. BMW's is nice, 
because it's always there. Actually, no, I gotta give it to the BMW because the BMW has a full-on fuel gauge where you see it all the time. This one has the F fuel trip. So when you are when you need gas, when you have one gallon left, it turns on and it's like, hey, by the way, you need uh, gas, you have a gallon left in the tank, which is usually around a quarter. The good thing about it is that it doesn't just tell you uh, that hey you need gas and go get gas but it actually tell you how many like exactly it's like a countdown I have 11 miles left and 0.3 gallons so you know I need gas pretty soon but there was a cop right by the gas station that I usually fill up at and I was like I don't really want to risk it and get a ticket with my obnoxious motorcycle. Yeah, I just did the decibel uh, reader on this bike as well. Oh man, let's take a second and enjoy these views actually. before I got distracted by the views yeah I'm sorry as I said I'm very out of it because I'm sick uh, with my ADHD it's not a good combo at all I'm like what what's going on it feels so weird being out of the house I've been literally lying down for like two days because I'm like dead with no energy but I still managed to edit a video for you guys and post it yesterday so that's good. Well, technically, to, is it today? Yeah, today. A little sad because summer is technically over and we're going back into cold weather. That was a very short summer. Went by really quick. I'm gonna miss the warm weather. I love sunset rides when it's all nice and warm. It's already getting a little chilly. Ah, this looks like a newly redone road. Yeah, this bike definitely feels like a lot heavier when you're trying to throw it around. Probably because of the cast wheels that it has. But it also feels a lot more stable like when I'm going into a turn or trying to lean. Or even just speeding, it just feels like solid. Which is something I've noticed with my Ducati is that that bike is very shaky. And I want to blame it on the carbon wheels, but I think it's the bike too. Because... I kept getting distracted because there's a lot of cars and traffic around here but it has to be like the bike as well not just the carbon wheels because the M1000 has uh, carbon wheels and that bike definitely feels more stable than the Ducati I would say uh, it definitely feels a little squirrely here and there actually now that I think about it they're a little close M1000 is definitely a little bit more stable than the Ducati but in general they both feel kind of like squirrely and not as stable so yeah, I wonder if that's uh, the reason, the carbon wheels, and that's why this bike feels so solid, because it has cast wheels. If you guys don't know, pretty much there's three levels of wheels. Cast wheels are the worst wheels. They're just cast, like super heavy and cheap wheels. And then you go usually the forged aluminum, uh, which the forged aluminum are pretty much kind of like the Marchesinis that you get on the V4S or, you know, slightly better wheels. I think some of the BMWs like also come with it like the s1000 double r's uh the m package that is n that doesn't have the carbon wheels they also have forged wheels wow. pretty nice it's the only reason i got the apple watch <laughs> <Just to pay. laughs> yeah it's so much nicer 
I don't have to like get stuff out of my pocket and all. So high? I know, 6.4. Bro, six, almost 6.5. Six oh, yeah, that's pretty sick. I didn't know the start is on the side. Yeah, it's a push to start. I'm like, it looks like it has a little dial to it, too. So that's how you turn it off. Yeah. Oh, like completely. Uh, yeah. You like half twist it. And to turn it on, is you just press the start button. Keys in your pocket? Yep. Gotcha. Push to start, man. You would assume BMW would do such I, exactly. Ex Honda did it. Exactly. Bro, this is what I always tell people is that this is as good as an M1000, my m 1000 R, but like on a budget. It's like 10K cheaper. Yeah. It's a $30,000 bike. It's quick. Oh, yeah. It will smoke the BMWs for yeah. sure. 217 horsepower stock. Dang, dang. Yeah. $25. To fill up a bike, four gallons. Almost four gallons. Wow, that thing's empty. I know it, it had under like zero point two. Like four point one or four point two gallons. I think it's four. four. Yeah, I think it's four because it tells you. It told me that I had zero point three left, but then we start when we started going a bit closer. Like you get range? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it gives me a range and miles too. Nice. I had like ten miles left and zero point three. I know. <laughs> yeah. One, you know. Yeah, and 0 0.3 uh, left, but then it just kind of stopped after that. So I think when you're in the like last 0.2 gallons, it just stops. Right. Now I feel a lot better that the blade. Got a full tank of gas. Oh yeah, I was I forgot what I was saying to be honest, so whatever, we're here at the meet. There's actually a lot of people today. <laughs> I guess we're going back here. All right. I know that. Uh, that's why I was like, I don't know where to go. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna be very close to you, so we're gonna be cuddling over here. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> bro, these car I love these carbon levers, but I always feel like they're gonna break on me, I swear. They're so flimsy, but I like them because they look good. Check out some of the bikes. I'm assuming that's not GPs R1M. Okay. That's GPs R1M. Where's V4? I like the color scheme on that RSV4. Fireblade just pops. That's a cool R1. Interesting wrap. How you guys doing? Yeah, I was the last two times I came here. I did win a trophy, so maybe third time is a charm. <laughs> What's that? Oh my god, wow! <laughs> <laughs> That's like every video I watch with me and it just happens. I have to add him now. That's how you know GP's in the video. If it's not in your intro in like 10 videos, I'm putting him down. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. So yeah, uh, won best bike of the night last two times. And the first time, what is this thing? The first time I got, I got it for my M1000 RR. Second one was actually for the V4R. I wanted to take the H2R today, but 
if you guys can't tell, well, can't see, there's no headlights, and it's already getting dark, so, that's never a good idea, I've never seen one in green, I like it, green details, <laughs> I know, it's been a minute, yes, I was gonna get the rush actually, but was tucked in the back, and I was too lazy. I was like, yeah. 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 Sorry. Oh, it's hard to hear in this thing. What? What? Yeah. I, I'm already deaf. I'm already deaf. So you guys will know when we ride out if I do end up winning any awards for the Fire Blade. We'll see. The fire blood will do well. I was if I took the rush, it was kind of like I feel like a guaranteed trophy because that's a very rare bike, and with all the work I've done to it, it's kind of like you know, rush is definitely very unique and special. But yeah, I'll pause it here because it is uh, getting darker, and I'm over wearing my helmet this whole time. It's extra work for me right now that I'm sick. But we'll continue on the ride back, as you guys know. It'll be probably very dark, so we'll do a little night ride with the Fireblade. Maybe in a different video, maybe not. But I'll definitely film me riding out of here in this video and tell you guys if I did win an award or not. If I, if I do win, I don't know how I'm gonna carry the award. We'll get creative, maybe. We'll see. All right, all right, guys. We stayed in a little extra late, as you can see. We're like the last ones. Made new friends, so we're riding back together. I was like, why is it not starting? Because it's in first gear. <laughs> yeah, they're all like shutting down. I couldn't take my trophy with me this time. By the way, the Fireblade did win. I'll put the picture here for you guys. But yeah, I did get a trophy for the Fireblade. Super bike of the night. So I got three trophies now. But yeah, the trophy was massive and I actually scratched my AGV Pista with it. <laughs> Cause it's like really big and heavy and I was like picked it up both. And uh, yeah, that happened, scratched my helmet. Luckily I was talking about that I have a new one. So uh, I'm not too bummed about it, but my OCD didn't like it. So I kept it here and I was gonna pick it up uh, in my car some other time. But yeah, we got three trophies now. Fireblade and 1000 rmv 4R. Yeah, I think this is the last event they're hosting for a while. But thank you, BMW Earthseaver. Thanks for coming, Thank you. of uh, riding out of the meet because all the bike carts are already left right after the giveaways that BMW or Saber usually does but we still got a night ride with a fire blade and we still managed to take it out today so hope you guys are enjoying this video please make sure you drop a like and subscribe we're getting very close to a million and it'll mean a lot and there's a cop right there people that do enjoy riding and not talking this is gonna be one of these I'm gonna save my voice and my energy and just kind of enjoy the ride with some music but as always hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah I'll catch you guys on the next time and just watch the video if you want to see me uh, go on this little fun night ride